Hey everybody, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tira. Today's topic is for all of my Divine Feminine out there. Okay, this is just like a daily reminder type of info, uh, energy checking in, what you should kind of be focusing on, what you should remember, you know, in your everyday life. Uh, remember that it is a collective read, all right? So some may resonate, some may not, okay? If you want to book a personal with me, I have the information to be down below in the description box only, along with, you know, how to purchase my Oracle cards, how to join Patreon, Check out my TikTok, any and everything. It'll be down there in the description box only. I want to thank you all so much for all of the likes and support to this channel. It really means a lot to me. It helps build our channel, right? Get the messages out. Um, build the collective as well. Um, when you all do like and subscribe, it definitely adds energy. Okay, I'm an energy reader. And I feel like it makes a difference. I really pick up on that energy. Uh, through the likes and subscribes. I feel like it does make a difference. So I do appreciate that as well. So look, I want to know, like, what does Divine Feminine need to be remembering right now? Like, you know, I like, I just heard like DiGello and um, Black Panther, right? And she, the mama like, remember who you are. Like, <laughs> so this is that energy. So it's like, what does Divine Feminine need to remember right now? Please and thank you. To be strong and not just any type of strength, divine feminine. You could be a male or a female in this energy, the energy of yin, the energy that attracts, right? You're not going out. You're not forcing shit. Is this feminine forcing the lion down? No. The lion does so because it's built, it's, it's trust that's built here. Patience, planning, precision. You see that infinity symbol over the mind, over the head, over the crown chakra of this feminine. It's like you're directly connected to the divine and it's nothing that can sever that. Can you tap into God consciousness? Yes, it's there for you. And I feel like this feminine has done so. Now, it may just be the fact that you need to remember who the fuck you are, divine feminine. Of course, that's the only way this works. Hmm. In your masculinity, it's like you go towards stability. Very noble person you are. Hmm. I feel like you could be an earth sign, you could be a fire sign, heavy Leo, okay, then Virgo towards Capricorn. One and equal give and take. I'm not even going to lie. Spirit telling me like this is someone in your energy. Like, fuck. How people just be bogart and all this energy like that? Like, you you definitely got a king of pentacles in your energy that want to give equal give and take to you, divine fam. It's like, well, while you at it, have divine fam, remember that I want to give equal give and take. I wouldn't even lie to you. I'm about to clarify now. What's going on with this King of Pentacles? What do you got to say? Male or female could be. Take it how it resonates if it's your story, okay? But remember, King of Pentacles is action-oriented. I feel like this is your energy, Divine Femme, as well. Because, you know, we shift between masculinity and femininity. Like yin and yang. We, we have both of those. It's duality within us, within all things. So it's like you shift between these energies. When you're trying to get shit done, you're the king of pentacles. That's what this is telling me. And then you're feminine, you're the strength, right? It's like your actions that you take in your life, divine fam, it's meant to set stability. You're making money moves. You're taking care of your family. You're trying to have or you're providing. And I don't feel like trying. Because it's showing me here, equal give and take. You know what the fuck to do. You know how to balance the two of these out. Okay. But it's also telling me that you have a masculine in your energy right now that is needing strength because they want to have equal give and take with you. See, there's somebody who betrayed you in the past, right? They didn't give you equal give and take. Or you could have found out that they were giving that to somebody else. But look, they feel like you all are soulmates and that you want to be together. And they're waiting, but shit. And watching. Watching your ass be single and abundant, Divine Femme. I can't even make it up. 
So I guess you can remember also that shit. Somebody from your past, you know, that betrayed you in the past is watching and waiting, wanting to swoop the fuck in on your ass and take you off the market. Yeah, I even see down here, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Because you ain't been hearing shit. It's like you're willing these things in. You're attracting these things in. Even in the pre-shuffle with this deck, I saw the magician. And I feel like you're a very creative person, a warrior-like person that doesn't give up. And if you haven't already, because Terry could be past, present, or future divine fam, you're going to be very abundant, very stable, okay? All of your hard work is going to pay off. That's what I see. And the divine giving you an opportunity, stability, money, abundance, right? Because that's what the divine feminine attracts in when they're healed. It's like the table's just turning here. All because of what you are manifesting. Clarity. Shit to be lying the fuck up. I just heard all my ducks in a row. So let's clarify. Yeah, somebody definitely watching you. You just thinking like you gonna be in all this ah, smelling good, looking good, you know, and ain't nobody gonna notice you to wind him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See, mugs wanna have ten of cups with you. I feel like you're attaining that yourself. And it's like likes attract within the universe. So your energy is definitely up to par for sure. And then you have a knight of wands. Mm. You know, you got a lot of people because of your energy, divine feminine. Even your masculine energy attracts people. It's like you be just doing shit and people just, you look up, they looking at you or... Something like that. Yeah. Six of Wands. So it's like people notice you. And all you doing is trying to perfect your fucking craft. You can't help it if you look good doing it. <laughs> but people see you. Divine film. Page of Wands. They like, oh shit. And this how you feeling though. Like you overcoming shit. But you looking so good while you do it. Ten of Pentacles here. And you're so different. This divine feminine I'm talking to is very different. You're going to attract someone that is on your level for sure, for sure. Two of Swords. Everybody just gets clumsy around you. See, look, here's the Empress energy. Everybody just get clumsy around you and shit. And they be trying to, you know, <laughs> close the deal with the world. Complete a cycle. Everybody wants you, divine feminine. Ace of Swords. Ultimate clarity is like, it's striking mugs. Like, oh my God, I'm in love. Like. <laughs> yeah, and I see the magician right here too. Yeah, people, you got to be careful, Divine Fam. You just out here looking good, smelling good, having, being abundant, having shit. Like, you got all kinds of people coming at you from the woodwork. And if you're watching this when I post this, I believe we're going into Mercury retrograde. So, look, I want to say, bitch, no. <laughs> you need to be being careful because you're going to have a lot of people coming towards you. You know, from past, present. You know, some future people, like new people coming. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be coming too. Oh, they want me to pull from this deck. This is my little deck I made, y'all. Um, you know, I got a few Oracle decks, but... This deck is handwritten, so it's like however it falls down because I got messages on either side. So let's see, whoever the fuck coming towards you, let's see what they got to come on now. That's too much. What they have to say, please and thank you. Come on, because I ain't got all day. You give me your ass to flow, go on and say what you got to say. Okay, so we got two. I see a soulmate. And underneath there is shit. I cry over you at night. Mm. A month from now. And it says, confused about our connection. Wow. So you have a soulmate that is definitely thinking about you. And it's like, you may hear from them in a month from now. Shit. Probably after Mercury <laughs> retrograde. Because I hear that that's supposed to be going through to what? Mid-end October? 
Yeah, y'all, we got a long road ahead of us. But this is a timeless read, so you know, shit, whenever you're seeing this, take it how it resonates, you know? Here it can be past, present, or future. All right, they rushing me. I'm talking, talking too much. Um, okay, this is what spirit wants you to be aware of, divine fam. Mm, shit. Enjoy your being single and abundant. You know, like really have that ground, mm, ground yourself good. Have that stability. You know, um, it's like saying, remember that you don't even need anyone. You know. Not like that. Like, you know, people need people, you know. We weren't made to be here alone, right? Um, see, but it's just saying, like, don't go jumping into situations though. It's like be aware that, you know, where you got the point that you got yourself to. It's like, you know, remember where you came from. Remember what it took. Like you did this. Don't just throw it all away to a motherfucker that's not worthy, all right? See, this is the hard work you put in. What to be aware of the hard work your asthma putting in. Where you get, you got yourself to this point. Okay, you could be a fixed sign. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, uh, Aquarius. Your person could. You could have Libra somewhere in your chart. But I feel like if, if Spirit is saying, if you need to get in that motherfucking energy, <laughs> that you want somebody out and being very clear about what it is that you want, what you expect, not being a douche though. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, when need be, you know, using your expertise to tell mugs what you expect. And it's a reason why you do that. Not just to be an asshole, but you know, because you've, you expect certain things, right? Because you can give yourself these things. That's what it's really about, right? See, coming out of, I don't need to be betrayed, but at the same time, not feeling like you can't work with anyone, you know, but spirit is saying you got yourself to this point. So be mindful of that. Um, let me get some clarity here. Mm, what to be aware of and it can also be like what to be aware of is if you're in this energy too much like well, shit, i don't need nobody i don't want to work nobody i got myself to this point you know what i'm saying like don't be closing your heart chakra either you need that you need that heart chakra to be open and flowing because that's what's gonna help you manifest if you can't link in with your heart space, how will you be able to go to the depths of your soul and be able to materialize that in this lifetime? You know, that's like the epitome of knowing what it is the fuck that you want in your life. You know, some people go there to the depths of their soul and they manifest their desires that they want from there. Okay, the car popped out. Let me grab it real quick, y'all. Yeah, it's the devil in reverse. So it's like not having any toxicities there, you know? And moving forward, not being stuck, right? Not being stuck at I need to remain single because I don't trust nobody, you know? Yeah, here we have six of cups, all right? And then we have eight of cups, wow. So I feel like you were really looking at someone from your past, you know, or looking at how you were in the past, right? Needing to leave things behind. It's very sentimental though. And I feel like don't uh, close your heart space to the point where you don't feel these type of things. You need to feel everything, divine fam. It's not good to be numb, you know, because what was the fucking point? If I got to go through all this shit and I can't really let everything out, then what was it really fucking for anyway? You need that moment. Don't deprive yourself of that crying moment where you let everything the fuck out. You eating fucking ho-hos and you got all the zuzus and wham whams. You eating all that shit in your bed, watching all kind of fucking movies, shows, cartoons, everything. You need them fucking moments, Okay. And then, did Matilda just sit the fuck around? Some of y'all ain't even watched Matilda, and that's crazy to me. But if you haven't, check it out. That's y'all channel movie for today. 
Um, yeah, somebody like, well, what about Clueless? Clueless was the shit too. So, I mean, you know, take it how it resonates. You know, you a Matilda fan, that's your movie. You a Clueless fan, that's your movie. Shit, both of them might be your movie. Right? If you grew up like I, you know, around the time I did, shit, both, I watched both of these movies. Yeah, but anyway. When Matilda, did she sit the fuck around? You could be a male or a female, but did Matilda sit the fuck around? And not do nothing when her dad was didn't want her to be shit and do shit. And they was just leaving her at the house. Yeah, she was psychic too. And like did yeah, telekinesis or something else. But she didn't just stay there. She educated herself. I feel like you're a very educated person. And you're like a self-starter. Maybe that's something that you need to go back to. Your inner child. And remember who it is that you are. Right? justice it's justice know that you're divinely protected right know that you are capable right he was holding the fort down against burglars right and they had burglarized all the houses right but he held his own you know a series of unfortunate events a series of events shit we don't know why the fuck shit happened but at the same time god does right and i feel like in a strange way you're gonna get your justice it's going to be how you least fucking thought. And then, damn, here comes the emperor. And this is not any type of emperor. This is the emperor to come save the day. This is Indiana Jones, right? Male or female, flip it or switch it, has your story. Shit, if you got a woman coming to save the day, maybe it's what the fuck you needed. Take it how it resonates. We ain't too proud on this channel. We, you know, we get the fucking messages across. We take it how the fuck it is and we go on about our business, right? So somebody coming to save the day. Will you let them do it? <laughs> See, two of wands. Choosing. And it's fun. You can be who it is that you are. You don't try to, got to hide anything, right? The star. Be who you are, divine fam. Learn the lessons and move the fuck forward. See, temperance. Learn the lessons. Because justice is coming. That's what you need to be aware of. Uh, let's get a message from the emperor, please. And thank you. How will it fall? Let's get us some messages from this emperor that's coming in. Please and thank you. Come on, Emperor. <laughs> Come on, Craig. <laughs> uh, I love my karmic. Okay. Talk shit about you. Has a soft spot for you. And divine timing. I feel like you're leaving a bad scenario. I feel like you're leaving this behind. Is what you're leaving behind? Someone does these things and they have a soft spot for you. You know, you could be moving on from that, you know, oh, I want it to happen with this person. I want it to hurry up and happen. You know, the whole time you have to face the truth that this person, they love their karmic. But I want to know about the emperor. The emperor can't stop thinking about you. Unblock me and only wants money. Oh, shit, divine fam. Are you saying that your emperor is the same person you left behind? Like, is that it? If it is, smash that like button because I'm trying to see what the fuck going on. <sighs> Follows the crowd. I need to get a little backdrop, a little clearer understanding here. Who's coming out in these oracle cards, please? And thank you. Okay, so you got a queen of swords in reverse. Let me know. What else? Get some clarity here. That's not they it's like they're planning something, they know something, and they're not talking. This could be the person's karmic. Get one more. Yeah, it's like the karmic may be starting shit in the background. Being a shit starter here. Because they don't want this emperor to move forward. That's what this is about. Someone's holding your emperor back, divine fam. And we see it right here, a karmic. 
They don't want them to complete the cycle of coming towards you. King of Swords. They're talking shit. Mm. This person could be talking shit. They could have kids together. I'm going to pull some, some uh, out of my Oracle deck real quick. Because we got to clarify just real quick. Um, it's like, oh, you want to go to this person? You want to go to the Divine Feminine? That's who you want? Divine Masculine, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> part one more, yeah. And they're making them feel like, well, you don't have shit to offer. Putting them all in their head and shit. Wanting them to dead in a situation. But death is also a resurrection, right? And a new beginning is going to fucking happen anyway. Divine timing. That's why it's at play. And it's just saying, like, your masculine is a little weak right now. They're still overcoming their test just as you are, divine fam. Netflix and chill. Hmm. Um, made them block you. I can't make it up. This is my deck, Karmic Clarity, Volume 1. Anybody that's interested in it, link will be down below in the description box only. But yeah, made them block you, Divine Femme. Divine Feminine is mine. So I feel like Divine Masculine still got fight in them, right? But see, knows about third party. This is the Karmic, knows about the third party. And the Masculine is dealing with shadow work. You see, that's why they're not so strong right now. See, I cry over you at night. I told you this. That came out in the first part, right? So, look, let's get this last little question I got out. Because I want to know what does Divine Feminine need to let go of before I close out this read. You know, moving forward, because that's like the most important thing. Like, what do Divine Fam need to let go of in order to get what the fuck it is you want, right? I hope you've been thinking about what it is that you want, Divine Fam. Because shit, who, you got to write the story, right? I can't be sitting here saying, well, this is what Divine Fam want, and Divine Fam want that. No, you got to write the story. You got to paint the picture. You have to be the artist. So what to let go of? Uh, being in this fixed energy, like, okay, I know what's best. I know divine fam, be a little flexible. Okay. I know that that's that fixed energy within you. People that have fixed signs, see, I'm a Leo son. So it's like, I understand, you know, you want to do things a certain way. It's been proven that it works for you. So you want to continuously do it that way. Right. Let's clarify. Okay, so what to let go of is always feeling like I feel like you feel like people are going to continuously act a certain way. It's like you you feel like people the your interests will always have a third party. That they're always going to have another person there. And that you're always going to have to talk up and delve into some shit. It's like you always feel like you're going to have to demand your respect. I mean, yeah, sure. But you need to have, you need to know when the fuck to cut people off too. I feel like that's that too. You're coming in as a warrior energy, but this can also be the other woman, too. No, it's you. It's how to come out victorious, because we're talking about manifestation energy, too. Uh, let's get some clarity. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm saying with the world card and the four cups. It's like, stop always having this energy of, oh... It's only going to go like this. It's only going to end up like this. It's not every time. You need to realize your power that you have, Divine Femme, okay? Put your guards down when it comes towards what it is, how you think things work. Because ignorance is bliss. It could, do you really know the truth, Divine Femme? Because if you focus your energy on it, where your attention goes, your energy flows. You could be putting energy into your own demise. 
But look, every time the divine, every time trying to give you a little piece again, trying to show you the rose that threw, grew out of concrete, right? It's Mercury retrograde, y'all. I'm, I'm definitely feeling the effects of that. Words slurring, all kind of shit. Let me get one for this uh, page of wands, please and thank you. Yep, in your head. In your head, can you trust what the fuck people saying when they come to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, can I even trust what the fuck you're saying? You know? Right? It don't matter how it come in. Because it's going to come in. You got all these people on your ass. Anyway. You know? But it's like, as you getting these calls, text messages, DMs, what do you believe? Death. Resurrection. The hermit, you pulling back, doing a digital detox, going within. Because you got to be prepared for when your emperor come, divine fam. That's what this is telling me about. Shit. What just flew out was justice. Right? That's that Libra energy. Right? Air sign, air on air, queen of wands. Could definitely be a double Libra. Could have Libra somewhere in your chart. Heavily aspected. Shit, I know I do. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like you're hell bent on justice. But the way that you're going to have to receive it, see? But the way that you're going to receive this justice is going to be different. Right? You're going to receive it, Divine Fan. Not just how the fuck you think you are. Okay? It's saying, shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> but it is, though, for real. It's saying, like, don't be being snappy and being toxic. You know, going back to that south node. You need to be moving towards that north node, divine fam. See? When you open that heart chakra up, it opens you up to your intuitive abilities. And you don't have to rely on always making logical decisions because your intuition will help you as well. What did Petto say? What the little, the little green, uh, little creaky say? What be your guide? Let your, it's been a minute, y'all. Yeah, King of Wands. And there's that King of Wands back again. So you're just going to offer that to Divine Film? Yeah. <laughs> and then you're coming in as Queen of Wands. It's like they're trying to match you in all your energies. This is definitely like a divine counterpart for sure. Let me get one more message. Okay, look. Once this emperor is healed, what? what how you finna be coming? Please and thank you. Once he healed, you know he or she. Take it. I resonates. But once this, once this divine masculine, once this emperor is healed, and they're coming in for their empress. What's some energy, divine? Please and thank you. Come on, let me fall out because y'all know how to go. Okay, a month from now, all right. It says, I'm going to keep playing games. Okay, so a month from now, motherfuckers still going to be playing games. But they have a good intent, all right. Wants to trap you. I feel like they're overcoming this type of energy. Well, give you a STD. Oh, shit. Unprotected sex and... Mm, Take it how it resonates. Let's flip it over. It's, uh, it's only right we flip this one over. Right, y'all? Oh, and it gets worse. Run, Divine Fam! Run! <laughs> I swear it's not funny, but bitch, run! Like, <laughs> for real, y'all. Male or female, look. Maybe it's saying you don't need to trust the emperor when they come in, baby. Listen. <laughs> y'all know I love y'all. I'm uh, look, I'm right here with y'all. Be honest. You know what I'm saying? When y'all come here, y'all know I'm not finna lie. So, <laughs> yeah, bitch, watch out. Okay? If it's a male, um, be on guard. You know, your emperor is a male. But shit, if they a female, you got to be on guard too because it's say what it say. This person out here having unprotected sex, they could be, or this could be like their karmic energy that they fooling with. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll pull one. And let's see if it's the karmic energy. What's going on with the karmic energy? Mm, Netflix and Chio pops back out. It say using divine masculine for money and made them block you. Okay, we know that. Knows about third party. We know that. 
we live together. Shit. Did y'all know that? Plays the victim and with Divine Feminine. You need to be careful, Divine Fam. Baby on the way. Oh, shit. This masculine is still involved with this uh, karmic, okay? But they're going to come the fuck back around. It's like, are they going to do the work like you did the work? No, Divine Fam. They're not going to do the work. But they really want you in their life still. So they're going to come the fuck around. Mercury retrograde got... It's, it's the boss level, okay? So you need to be gearing up, okay? And prepare using everything that you've learned, Divine Fam, okay? And is it going to be hard to overcome your twin flame? Hell yeah. But be aware of what the fuck is going on, Okay? Keep that in mind and don't even talk shit about it. Be prepared for when it come up, okay? So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button if you all want to see more reads like this one. I thank y'all so much for all the love and support, tips and donations to this channel. And today, peace and love.